Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 17th of April. So on the weekly chart here for the DAX, we've been looking at it as wave 3 here, an A wave here, B wave here and a C wave here for wave 4. And if that's the case, then we will move and make new highs in this direction up through here. We have to be careful though, because when we're in wave four corrections, they can get rather complicated. So this whole pattern may get complicated. And roughly the situation is the 61.8% here will be a junction point that we need to be mindful of. If this market is going to fail, then it's going to fail uh, in that space there and then get into more of a complicated uh, correction. Um, so that would be the 11,500, which is the medium level in terms of the trading levels, halfway between 10,000 and 13,000. So that's our sticking point there. And um, in a nutshell, we would be looking for three waves to the upside there. So let's just go in and have a closer look. So in regards to the move up here, if we look at it wave four here, then we can look at this um, as wave one here. There is another count for wave one where wave one can go over here. We might look at that today, but um, uh, in a nutshell, we're looking for an A and a B and a C here for the conservative area uh, and then uh, into the 50, 60%. So it's at the lower end of the 50%, which is respectable and can fail from from that uh, from that point there. But also too, um, we have to acknowledge that uh, a few things that we are in a bullish trend to the upside. We do have support. It's migrated from being resistance to support on the 10,000. And well, that would be a tested support if it makes a new high above this um, current uh, high here. So it can move up higher. So like I mentioned, we just got to be um, open minded because we're either going to get three waves up to here and we're going to fail or we're going to just keep climbing straight up. So we're at this junction point where it counts uh, of what occurs. So drilling in further to solve the problem is that in this case here, we'd been looking for wave one, uh, sorry, wave A, wave B, and then five waves up here for wave C as a top here. We could also look at this as five waves to the upside in terms of wave one here and A, B, C for wave two here and then wave three here, wave four here, and wave five here. And in that case, we would be looking for a much deeper retracement level coming from this space here to here, down into this area through here for that retracement level. So I'll just keep it at this at the moment. The other point that this particular move through here um, on the FTSE, it made a low, it became came lower than this low here. So there is a case for uh, doing this differently, but um, I, I kind of like this here as wave wave A here or wave one here in this case. If this is wave one, for instance, then and let's let's just imagine for a moment that we make a new high coming up through here because we can count five waves here so far. So the other way to look at this here would be to look at wave one here and this over here as wave two here. That would be the other way to look at that moving up higher through here. But we're not there just. yet with this and, and also too if I can just point out that from this low here to this high here the 50-60% retracement level comes in a bit lower here at this level here so we could see it retest the 10,000 and the way that it would retest the 10,000 area through here would be the A wave here and then ABC here pulling back to the 61.8% and then coming down here before moving higher through here. So if it's going to move, if it's going to continue to move up through here, then we need to know at what level we can go long at. So just drilling into the one hour chart here, just to point out that if this is a top here or wave one top or whatever it is, <clears throat> I could count five waves down through to here. So this would be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here, pulling back to the 61.8%. 
thing here though is that the you know when we normally get when the market comes down and we get the a wave coming up here then the b wave here and the c wave is on normally on more of an angle but in this case here it's strong so it's really acting like a third wave to the upside here so copy that it could be a third wave to the upside now what we would need to do in that case is we would need to look at this move up here if this was a small a b c going up through here then we would be looking for a five wave move in this space and then once that five waves is finished to the upside then we can go along from that point because any move beyond that this five waves of this sequence here would tell us that we are in a bull market at that particular point so um, like I mentioned for the FTSE and for the DAX there's a good case of putting five waves into this particular structure here and if that's the case then this would be the A wave then a small A, B and C here finishing at the top of the fifth wave here and then moving down in five waves four waves C here as well so um, let's just drill in a little further here so this is how it's looking so from the top here I could count sorry from the top here I would count down as one ABC for two here then down for one and two and then one two three four five the third wave fourth wave and then down for the fifth wave of the third, fourth and fifth. So there's a good case for putting five waves in here rather than an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. Um, so, and then <clears throat> one of the other things here too is that if I was looking at this as wave one coming to the upside here, then wave two is normally swift and sharp. And yes, it was swift and sharp, but the thing that sort of bothers me about this situation here is that... Um, this this B wave here took a lot longer than wave A to get up here. So not normally wave one here, then an ABC for wave two would be sharp. This has taken um, quite some time to get down here. The other thing that could be put here, construed here, is that if this is five waves down here, then there's a case here for from the B wave here as one and two and three and four and five here, which is kind of what we've got on the Dow Jones. So there is a case for copy that here for this is an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave here for the low. Even though it hasn't made a new low, it has given us five waves down here in that case. So there's a case for an A and a B and a C here. So if the market does move up higher through here, we could say that from this little structure here, this five waves up here can be completing. And we could say that um, this is group two here, so 65, 72 and 80. I know it's a little way off here, but um, if the 61.8% here made a nice support, so we could look, that would be our first step. We could gravitate over to the closest largest number so we could go a little bit higher than that let's just see what we've got on the tick chart here so i'm just counting so um this looks like it's one and two in here or even to here and the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, they've still got this one here. So there still can be, I can't draw here, but I can see that, um, I can see we've got one and two and three and four and five here. So we're quite close to the top. So it's possible for this market to pull back here and have one more push to the upside. So we'll use group two here, which is 65, 72 and 80. So if the 10,650 develops as support, then you can get a small position in that. And then if the 10,720, group two here, gets support, then you can add to that. And then you can look to add on top of the 800 there as well, because we'd be moving to the, to the upside. But all of those need to become support um, for that. Um, and we need to let this finish off here. So yeah, just coming back into say the one hour here. 
my main county is having an A wave, a B wave here, failing here, and then coming down through to here. That said, um, if we're going to be bullish, then 10,650 here as support would be the catalyst to the upside at that point. Okay, um, and it will take time to get support there because you can see over here, this is where the top is, this, this will be all where the supply is here, that will be pushing it down here. So if it can get that as support, then we can look to the upside from that point. And then you would need to look at this here as um, the A wave here, the, the B wave here and the C wave here and we'll make new highs at that particular point. That's the only way I can see this A, this ABC working, but I'm not that happy with it um, at, that, at that particular point. I'm more happy with an A wave here, B wave up here, and a C wave down through to here, okay? Um, let's have a look at the FTSE. Might pay to watch the um, US indices as well because um, the Nasdaq and Amazon and that have been leading to the upside. It'd be nice to know where they sort of where they are as well. So with the FTSE here, um, as I mentioned before, with the DAX is that we have made a new low on this one here, where the DAX hasn't. Um, so in this case, here, it still works out the same though. But the A wave here the A, the B, and the C wave here, and then one and two here, and three and four and five here. So it's reason it's a reasonable structure here, and it's not to say that this is the actual top here, but we counted five waves up here, and then we ended up going short through, uh, through this little space here, um, down to the next level, and we've got the same thing occurring here with the with the um, with the FTSE as well. So we can see that <clears throat> this level here, which is the five thousand eight hundred, that there is coming into the you know pushing up into here, pushing up into the supply. Supply just means sellers. And if we were going to go long, then we would need that as support. And if that was going to be support, we would need to count this as wave one and two here. And it will take a while for this to become um, support here as an ABC here, and then would push up into this space here to get wave five uh, coming in here. And once we got, and that would be at the 6,000 say. But even then, um, it's hard to figure out um, the waves, how just that five waves here fits into the rest of this, it doesn't. So this would come back as an ABC here, and then it would need to push up again here. It would need to give us, it, what I'm saying, it would need to give us five waves here and would be into more of a bullish um, pattern from that point. Um, otherwise, we need to look at this as the A, the B, and the C wave here. So, um, I mean, we were looking for the top here. We were looking for five waves down, which we were looking at. Then we were looking for a correction back up. It's just that the correction back up has happened rather sharp. Um, so that kind of... raises red flags and then we need to work out well if we're wrong where we're going to be wrong and in this case here the 5800 as a tested support would be the catalyst for um for the next move up and the support would look like this if this was the 5800 across here it needs to be there will be a reaction because it's a number eight 5800 so there will be a reaction and if there's going to be any bullish move we'll see the first high above the level which you don't chase and then it will come back and retest it and eventually find it a support and then you can move in from that point so you need that to migrate from being resistance to support um, and that will tell us if it's support that will tell us that the market is bullish otherwise we'll expect to move down uh, here as an A and a B and a C wave here it's just the hourly chart here what we can do though here is from the top here roughly to the low here we can see that we're right on the 61.8 percent here and we've got three waves up here. So um, the classic trading levels pattern, which we would need to see at the 5,800 here. Let's just go into the 15 minute chart here. We're counting down here. So my on the bullish side here, the 
the the only way I could get a bullish count out of it was looking as an A and a B here and then one and two here and then one and two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. But when I pull this apart here um, on the tick chart, it becomes five waves down here. We'll look at that. But um, on the bullish side here, this is how the bullish count would look just in case it is bullish. Then we would need to look at this as wave one here and two here then wave one here and two here because we've got five waves in this structure and we've also got five waves in this structure as well so this would be one and two here this would all be three here which is not finished four and five just for the third wave then the fourth wave and the fifth wave so um, finding this support across here and giving it a bit of time on the five eight here that's the magic number there um, So yeah, that's not even finished yet. So that might be, I don't know if that's got one more push up there, but it's still got to go to here, to here for that third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, ABC here for the fourth wave here, and then up for the fifth. And this is where we're looking to go along over here. If that's going to be the five waves up there, otherwise it's going to fail. And we need to look at it, just looking at this section back over here on the tick chart. So. This is my sort of primary count. It's just that it scared me a bit, this moving up so swiftly here. That's, what, that's what's bothered me. So this would be, I've counted five waves here for one and two here, then one and two here, then one and two here, and then all the way down here, there's uh, one and two here, and then five waves in third wave here, fourth wave and fifth wave for the third, the fourth, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third, fourth, and fifth. So it count in my mind, it counts quite nicely for this. And then we would expect uh, a move back up into this box where we are now, and then we would expect to move down. But if it finds support on that five thousand eight hundred there, as I've mentioned, then um, Houston, we've got a problem. You know, we need to turn bullish at that point. Um, and there's a case for turning bullish because it moved up so quickly. So the correction count here would be the A wave here, then an A wave here, and then an A and a B and a C for the B wave, and then down for the C wave here. And I kind of like it in a way. It's, it, it works. Um, but um, I just don't have any evidence of anything either way. The move to the upside count is one and two here. I'm assuming this is all three here and four here and one, two, three, four, five here. So um, we could have a top in here already. That can be the top here at the 61.8% here. Um, but uh, this is a strong trend here. Um, so it's just hard to say. But the setup here would be the arrival, which we'd be looking at. And I'm just going to... Let me just have a closer look at this here. Now that looks okay for a top there. I've got it on 100, this is 100 ticks. But if you could pull that apart, I'm just wondering if this is some fourth wave here and one more move to the upside here. But look, in terms of, um, I can draw on this side of the tick chart. So we'd, we want this first high above the level. That's the one that you're looking for, okay? Um, if that comes into play, then don't chase that. Don't chase any of this. Then there'd be the B wave here. And then you can go long from over here if that moves up through there. Otherwise, um, Otherwise, we've got a top in play here at the moment. That's about the best I could do, guys. So just coming back to the four hour chart here. Um, support on 5.8, nice tested support will create a bullish count and that means I can reevaluate all of this and turn this into a bullish count otherwise we'll be pulling back down through here um, so there we go alrighty cheers <laughs>